hello guys welcome back from the break this is going to be a video on tutorial 2 for the asp.net core blazor tutorials this video we're going to talk about what is blazor web assembly so what is blazor web assembly so we know that in this video we're going to talk about what is blazor and how i'm going to use a blazor to create nice websites and applications as well as usual you know i have a small note that you're going to just look at from all right so you and i are going to benefit from the notes so first of all what is blazor web assembly it's a question mark so before we understand that let's talk about how web, web applications are developed today so applications that you see on the internet and our mobile phones how are they developed nowadays now in, or in order to develop web applications there are some languages that we need to actually learn one you need to learn language from the server side that is the server system that is providing the source and the client side the system that also depending or demanding the source we need to have languages or a language for each so at the server side we need to learn or need to use some languages like c sharp java php and etc with the client side, we need to use some languages like Angular, React, Vue, Amber, and etc. So my question is, are you going to learn all these various languages for programming the client side and the server side? You see, it's going to be so tedious for you to do it. Don't worry, Microsoft got to cover it. Instead of learning both server side and client side languages, we can use Blazor. That's a language of C sharp, which possesses. So whoa, see how I wrote it possesses. So which possesses the server side and the client side. So instead of learning C sharp and Angular, C sharp and React, Java and whatever, just learn Blazor. You must know C sharp already, right? This C sharp possesses, or this Blazor possesses, server side and client side. So we can build interactive web application using C Sharp instead of JavaScript. You know, for JavaScript, that is for responsiveness. So I click on the button, it just pops up. I do this, I do that. We can also use C Sharp for the same thing. Then there's a question here: How will C Sharp code execute in the browser? Because I know by now you are thinking about since the browser understands only JavaScript, how would they boot you execute C Sharp? <laughs> I'm laughing. I'm laughing at you. Now, the answer is C Sharp uses assembly called WebAssembly. That's WASM. So, C Sharp uses a WebAssembly to actually communicate or to execute in a client or browser. So, my question is here what is Blazor? This is the actual topic that we're talking about. What is Blazor? So, Blazor is a SPA, stands for Single Page Application. It is a single page application framework for building interactive client-side web application by using C Sharp and .NET instead of JavaScript. So we can build interactive, nice web application using only C Sharp and .NET. Here, JavaScript is off. What are the languages that you must know before tackling this topic? It is basic. You need basic of C Sharp basic of html and css you need not to be expert in all this before you can tackle this as far as you have the basic knowledge in all this you are good to go if not when you have basic knowledge in even any two this video is going to start from the scratch to advance so little by little you're going to move like a tortoise huh you're going to grab the content as well so as i said in the previous video this topic or this tutorial it is one of the best and it's going to be interesting and it's going to be helpful to you as well. Thank you guys for watching. Let's go out for a break. When we return, we talk more about this and move on to the next topic.